Hello hey, well, friends, here is a new tool I would like to share with you. This is unique and useful tool that I got myself and I think you might be interested in. Kaiwitz sent me this and they asked me to take a look at it and share with you guys and that's what we intend to do today. The soldering iron is very small and as you'll see in a little bit, it fits really nicely in your hand. It does require a power delivery capable USB device, but they do provide you one. They provide you with a 65 watt one that also has a USB-C and a standard USB plug on the top. And this particular model has 6 tips as well. The power cable is also included. Inside the box you will find all of these tips, the power supply, a manual and the manual is very true by the way. An extremely nice power cable, a soldering iron stand with a tip cleaner sponge and the soldering iron itself. The USB-C power cable that they provide is pretty beefy. It's pretty nice actually. It has these really nice aluminum ends and it has a little strap here to keep it all together and as you can see it's a pretty thick cable but it's still very flexible. These six tips that they give you is a nice assortment as you will see in this picture. To install a tip all you have to do is unscrew the end of the soldering iron, put your tip in and it will snap into place and then put that nose cover back on. Tighten it up and you are ready to use the iron. The provided cap does twist lock on so it's not going to fall off. That will keep your tip protected. The stand they provide does get the job done and it's very portable which is the whole point of this particular soldering iron. And it has really nice OLED digital display that's really easy to read and it's a two button operation. Pressing both buttons will enter a menu mode. In that menu mode you will find the brightness adjustment, a calibration adjustment, the temperature unit adjustment, basically you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. There is a sleep time setting. This basically allows you to set the resting temperature of the iron. There is a child lock feature making it a little bit more difficult to turn the unit. On the handhold feature allows you to flip the screen upside down. That way if you are left handed or right handed it's still easy to read. There is also a voltage selection so if you wish to change that we are just using the default settings because it came with its own power supply and that brings us back to the brightness settings. This long bar down here is the power meter bar that's telling us that is using some percent of its heating capacity to maintain this temperature. By the way, the soldering current would be great for component based work. There is plenty of tips to choose from and when you are trying to work on the circuit boards this would be pretty ideal. What's the conclusion? I'm really excited about this little soldering iron. Everything was well thought out. The screen is nice and going through the menus is just really easy to do. The wattage is good enough to do a little bit of some larger base soldering but it's definitely going to be a great for components work. I will put a link to this iron in the description down below. If you like these types of videos don't forget to like and subscribe and take a look at some of my other videos at the very least.